What's up, y'all? This is Jake Berkey. I uh, got up early this morning. It's 5.15. I'm in the shop trying to uh, get my punch list finished and finalized before this Hot Springs, Arkansas ride. Um, this old buggy behind me has went through a transformation, and uh, we pulled all the guts out of the motor and everything this past week trying to figure out why she didn't have oil pressure and uh, got it fixed and buttoned back up. Now I got some last minute punch list items I got to do. Uh, put some oil in the diff, uh, got to put the skid plate back on, got a bolt that broke off holding my brake line on back there in the back. And, uh, probably the worst thing is that the uh, radio quit working in this thing and that's a big deal. I got to figure out what the heck's going on with that. Four wheeling without a radio is uh, it's terrible. I mean, to be honest with you, if you don't have a good radio, I don't even know how you go. But hey, I'm just messing. Anyways, got some laundry going on here. Trying to get my rain suit dried out because uh, Hurricane Joaquin has uh, come to devastate the East Coast. And uh, thankfully, we're going the opposite way. But when we come back, we'll be riding through a bunch of weather. Anyways, um, Travis, the hitman love it lives on the other side of town. Should be here about eight o'clock and uh, we're gonna take off from there. I'm gonna do a couple videos that shows the car ride, the race, and then the aftermath. I think that'll be kind of cool. Anyways, y'all let me know what you think. I'll All right. It's uh, 6.30 at night. We got five more hours to go. Actually, five and a half more hours to go. We just got through. Uh, Nashville not too long ago. It's been raining the whole entire time. Anyways, um, what do you think, Travis? What do you think about this car ride? It's been raining all day. This sucks. <laughs> you ain't done shit right over there all day, so. <laughs> I think we're going to get there eventually. I got to stop and get me something. Get me some coffee. Get me a caffeine. Get me back going again. Yeah. I'm whipped. No, man, you don't need to have any coffee, man. You got that 40-year-old bladder. You can pee in the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you start driving. Hey, what do you think about that, Crystal? Yep, see, she's shaking her head. Yes, yep, that's yeah, right. That's my <laughs> Anyways, we're having a blast. We're uh, hitting the hot springs, and uh, we're going to throw down this weekend. We're going to have a good old time. Watch a little Talladega Nights. Shake and bake. Baby. Shake and bake, baby. All right, it's morning. Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, we're rolling into the park, and uh, we had an awesome place to stay last night. We stayed at the uh, Embassy Suites and uh, had a fantastic breakfast, and uh, we're ready. We woke up, we're energized, we got our coffee in us, and what do you think, Travis? I'm ready. Hell yeah. We stayed at the Five Star Hotel last night. Shit, slept one eye open. Hey, so nice. and we got that military discount, too. Old Travis here is full of slick one on him. And the one-legged and senior citizen. <laughs> the one-legged and senior citizen she discount. Fell for it. He was standing there at the counter with one leg up. Saying, I need leg. a one-legged discount. <laughs> that leg dance. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is good stuff. All right, we'll get back with you. Behind us, we got Ryan Bromall. He's trying to go up the hill. Travis just went up. It came back down. It was absolutely epic. He's Hi! Cooper's in the house. I landed pretty hard, broke a ring and pin, I think. So uh, I'm out, but did really good in the race. Travis killed it in the race, too. So uh, I come down the hill, brakes give out, did a end of flip. Look like an idiot. Total idiot. But hey, it's all good. That's right. We're showing off for the crowd. You guys don't have a good time. Peace out. Bye. Good morning, folks. Hitman, Jake Berkey leaving hot springs this morning we got a uh, 712 mile ride to get home back to south carolina and augusta georgia for him uh we just woke up it's like 5 15 in the morning and uh it's gonna be a long day yeah we had a blast out there in hot springs arkansas for the southern rock racing finals uh travis was the only person to climb the showtime hill which is uh absolutely ridiculous huge huge hill and uh, I ended up in second place in the race so had a good weekend tried to put a show on afterwards uh, after the race and uh, had an absolute blast so now it's 700 plus miles back and uh, when we get everything fixed and we broke and get ready for the next one that's how to be the 25,000 bounty hill at AOP coming up this weekend I got to defend looking yeah. forward to that yeah, that's another thing. That AOP Bounty Hill coming up this next weekend is uh, something that you guys don't want to miss. Uh, if you guys like high horsepower beatdowns and uh, some hell raising, I'm telling you, it is absolutely fantastic. Travis is in the lead. He's got the 25,000 whip right now. 
If anybody beats his time, he gets to defend it. So uh, y'all come out and cheer us on, and uh, it's going to be a blast out there. That's right. So run what you brung, big boys, when you come try to get that money of mine. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're on the side of the interstate right now. We just had an injector line break on this diesel. It shut us down We're right here in a really bad spot by a bridge. This is the injector line. It split right off. That's supposed to be sitting up on there. Something like that right there. So what we're gonna try to do is uh, with this thing installed, you can kind of see there's just a little bit of meat left on that thing sticking out. We're gonna try to pound the tubing out of the ferrule and then take one of these compression couplers that I had and slide it up on there, tighten it down and then jump the gap between the two and see if we can't start it and uh, get it to run. If not, then we'll have to crimp this down with a hammer and uh, run it on five cylinders so we can get somewhere. Life of a rock bouncer. Almost. All right, I think I got it pretty close there. Let's see if we can break it off. No, I don't think it's going to, dude. It, I don't know, man, it's tight. It's going to be a close one. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Look there at that. Go. All right, cool. Now. So we ground that thing down until it was just about to break, then use the pliers to snap it the rest of the way off, leaving a clean ferrule, a clean spot to push this ferrule. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, so mm. maybe, just maybe, if there's any luck left in our system after this weekend, we can get this. Get a bite on it. Compression it's coupling. It's gonna be close. Man, it's, it's tight down inside there. That's gonna be right. It's gonna be hard. That's a lot of PSI to come right. through that injector let's, line. Let's tighten that up right there. We'll stick this inside this side. We'll tighten it up there and see if we can't limp it to the next place. All righty, give us a minute. All right, and this is what we're up against. People don't realize we're on the side of the road. Right? Hey, life of a rock bouncer, baby. You do whatever it takes. <laughs> It ain't always fun in games. We'll <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time though. We're going. We stopped for gas. Uh, we're just outside of Atlanta. We've got about two, two and a half hours more to go to get back. Um, anyways, uh, we are running on five cylinders because we had a number four injector hose blow, which we showed you the video a second ago. Travis is hungry. He's eating. I'm starving. <laughs> it's been a rough day already. We're going to be late when we get in tonight. Yeah, we couldn't fix it. Uh, what we tried to do is uh, just crimp the hose over. Basically, that line's metal, so we just took and smashed it down with a hammer until it was flat. We're running on five cylinders, about 50 miles an hour down the interstate. And so, um, yeah, we're just doing the best we can to try to make it home. Um, let me tell you a little bit of damage from this weekend. We got a uh, tire that's going flat here. These uh, bolts look like they've worked their way out a little bit, so we're gonna have to tighten up that. That's no big deal. We have a broken leg on the old riot buggy. Whenever I broke the front gears, it started going backwards down Showtime Hill and two-wheel drive and ran into a tree and snapped the uh, coil over, which is fantastic because I literally bought that spring Friday morning and put it on. So that spring is ruined. It's uh, got about 24 hours on its life. Gotta buy a new one of those. Uh, Travis, you can't see it real good, but he knocked a hole in his diff cover, so uh, I got to get him one of those ordered, and we're going to put it on when we get back. And uh, I, like I said, I broke the front gears out of mine. So anyways, this is the life of a rock bounce, and we do it all the time. We're driving down the interstate on five cylinders. We got a fire, fire, extinguisher. fire extinguisher between our legs just in case something happens. <laughs> we get all our stuff loaded up that's important so we can jump out last second, but... Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do to get home, and that's about half of what rock bouncing's all about. You know, we uh, we make things work, and we do whatever it takes to uh, finish a race or get there in time. And um, it's like a life challenge. It makes you a solid person by the time everything's said and done. So, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and uh, next time we'll do it again.